Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to do a really quick video here. I had a friend of mine ask me how they can um, connect their MacBook to a Windows server um, or a Mac OS X to a Windows server. I'm not really sure how he put it, but I really don't really care because it's the same exact principle. And we're going to show you. Okay, so we're going to do this in VMware Workstation 16. Um, as you can see here, I have Mac OS X 15, uh, I'm sorry, 10.15 on here. Um, if you do not know how to install Mac on your Windows, please watch my previous video on how to get Mac installed on your Windows and Linux. Okay, so we're going to need a Mac that's not domain connected, obviously. And we're going to go need a domain controller, which I have right here. And I'm going to be using Windows Server 2019. So just to show you here in computers, there is absolutely nothing here, so it's not connected. I also create a new folder called Mac OS X down here in my OU. And the reason being for that is there are group policies and certain things that Macs do not function very well with or won't even bother with with Windows. So when I do my group policies, I kind of like to separate things like servers and workstations and that and so on. Um, but now I'm getting off topic here because you really want to see how to do this. So let's go back over to our Mac here, open up System Preferences, click Users and Groups. Now I swear this is very simple, very quick and easy. Click the little lock down below, type in your super secure password. And then down here, Network Account Server, Join. You can see when you click Servers down, there's nothing here, all right? So I'm gonna click on Open Directory Utility. And then from here, click the little icon. Will lock, type in your super secure password, double click Active Directory. In here, type in your domain. Okay, and then your computer ID. So we're gonna type in Mac OS, Mac OS X, whatever this is, 15, I'll just say dash VM. I don't really care as long as I remember. And from here, click on Bind. Now this is asking you for your administrator on your domain, not your you know your local user here. So administrator, password, and then click OK. Type in your super secure password. And then we're gonna wait. This is gonna take roughly around five to ten minutes to do. You're probably gonna get the window prompt again. Um, during this time to type in your password again, just keep typing it in until it asks you to reboot. But in this video here, I'm just going to jump ahead just a little bit just to shorten it up a little bit more because nobody wants to stare at this the whole time. Okay, so once it's all been added to, you can just go ahead and click OK. Then we can go ahead and just exit out of that. And then you can see down here under Network Account Server, there's our domain. Well, at least my domain. Yours should look something different. It may not, I don't really you know, worry too much on that situation. But we wanna now log into our domain users. Um, right now we're still logged in as the administrator here and we don't wanna be that. So I'll hop over here to my domain controller because I wanna see if anything got added. Nothing there. Let's go here to computers and there it is. And now in my case, I just go ahead and move this down to the Mac because I like to keep everything all organized. And then go ahead and reboot. Okay, so upon reboot here, we're going to go ahead and click on other. Um, just to show back here, you have, this is my admin in my local account. And then this one here is going to be our domain users. If I can spell. Okay, and then go ahead and click next or click the arrow to log in. And if this is your first time logging into this, you will be prompted with um, the basic information, which data and privacy, how do you want your desktop set up, um, the basic installation for that if you want to use Siri. Um, this is all based on however you want to handle this from here. So we're just going to give this about a minute um, or not. Go ahead and click continue. Go ahead. Sure. Yep. Uh-huh. You know, I don't know why I turn Siri on every time. It always takes so much longer. I always like the dark one, though. Especially considering that, if you can see, everything's being done at nighttime at my location. And then after that, there we go. 
So as you can see up here, VMware Advisor 02 is logged into this. If I go to System Preferences and Users and Groups, there I am. All right, but I can't actually do anything here, as you can see. I am domain added to it. I can type in however I want to switch with it. From here, if I type in the administrator for the system, bam, I can get into it. And as you can see here, automatic logon, sleeps, this and this, and that's it. So I hope this video helps somebody out. Um, obviously, it's going to help my friend who needs to go ahead and do this. Now, not to be rude here, I already taught him how to do this previously. I just want to make sure everybody else in the world can do it because next person that asks me, hey, how do I do this? Well, here's a video real quickly how to do it. So again, I hope the video helped out somebody. I hope somebody learned something today and I will catch you guys in the next one.